Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett and Sparky Van Devender at Parnassus Books. We have so many books to talk about today, but I want to just say um, that M. Scott Momaday died, and I was a big fan. Housemaid of Dawn, wonderful playwright, just a really, really important part of American literature, and um, grateful for his work. And I also want to say Sarah J. Moss, House of Flame and Shadow, coming out today. We believe the fans will be lining up in about five minutes. We've got the books. We're ready for you. Um, thank you, Sarah J. Moss, for making us money that allows us to pay the electrical bill and the rent and make everybody's salaries. Big, big book for today. Book I'm excited about called Hard by Great Forest. I just got it. Leo has a very long Russian last name, which I will not butcher. It is a debut and it has blurbs on the back by Khalid Husseini, Colin McCann, Elif Bauman, Andrew Sean Greer, Jean Kwok. Big, big book. Very excited about this. And someone just sent it to me, so I'm going to read it. And it's a ton of nonfiction today. We have gun nonfiction today, which is getting a lot of press. One Nation Under Guns, which is how gun culture distorts our history and threatens our democracy. And also focusing in on Nashville, Jonathan Metzl, what we become living and dying in a country of arms. This talks about the shooting at the Waffle House in 2018. Guys, pay attention. We got to get on this. We got to do something. All right. And then if guns weren't enough, we also have love, sex, and relationship. We have the end of love, which is racism, sexism, and the death of romance. We have fight right, how successful couples turn conflict into connection. And we have come together, the science and art of creating lasting sexual connections. So once you get rid of your guns, go home, be happy. Lindsay, up to you. Um, I get to have fiction today, which I love to talk about fiction. Um, at first, a book that we are all so, so excited about out today, Kylie Reed, author of Such a Fun Age, which was long listed for the Booker, sold a bajillion copies, it was a Reese pick, now she's got a GMA pick. You've only got one more to go. Jenna, listen, Kylie's third book, um, Come and Get is out today. This is a campus novel. Nobody writes social hierarchies and social satire like Kylie Reed. I loved this book. Elise will tell you a little bit more about our event on Saturday. FEC. And it is our FEC pick. Thank you. Um, so if you're an FEC subscriber, this is our pick for February. You will be receiving a signed copy. The Jenna pick. Oh, oh do you want that? There you go, Elise. <laughs> Um, the Jenna Pick is Dolly Alderton's Good Material. Dolly is a great novelist and essayist. Um, her essay collection, Everything I Know About Love, has skyrocketed to the bestsellers list three years after publication. This is a novel. This one is about the aftermath of heartbreak, told through the lens of a comedian. So it is heartbreak, but it's also funny. If you want historical fiction, we have Held by Anne Michaels, which is a multi-generational historical fiction, literary historical fiction, if that is your jam. Um, for fans of Emily Austin, who had a wonderfully titled first novel, Everyone in This Room Will Someday Be Dead, is back with another novel with an equally great title, Interesting Facts About Space. Um, Emily Austin is hilarious. She writes wonderfully about queer characters, about mental health issues. We adore Emily Austin here. And if you would like some mystery, we have Benjamin Stevenson, Everyone on This Train is a Suspect, which is a locked room mystery, a train full of mystery writers, editors, and fans who all, you guessed it, are suspects. <laughs> and up next we have Elise. Hi everyone, I'm gonna talk about a couple of past events and a couple of future events. The first one we had last week, Sharon Mabry. And this is the blue box and memories that live in the box. And I just want to talk about this one because I'm going to talk very loudly. There's a lot going on outside. Um, this is a memoir. Sharon wrote this about her upbringing in the mountains of East Tennessee and her 56 or 50,000 year marriage, I don't know, to her husband and the fun journey that that has been. And she was 
so delightful and so charming and so is this book. I loved it. And I didn't have it last week. I talked about it, but I didn't have it. And I said, it is such a great cover and everybody here at Parnassus loves it because there is an opossum, which we love, just having coffee with a lunchbox. So if you wanna know what that's about, you get the book and read it. It's lovely. She was wonderful. Then last night we had a great event with Lori Frankel. She, I had talked a lot about her last novel, One, Two, Three, which is one of my favorites, and now Family, Family, which I also adored, and she is just fabulous. We have signed copies of both of these, so go ahead and get these. Now, tonight we have Jennifer Mormon. That this was rescheduled from whenever we had uh, Snowmageddon and we couldn't be here. So Jennifer will be here tonight. There are some seats left, so go ahead and register. This is the magic all around and it's magical realism and it's magical and it's hopeful and it's just a fabulous read and we love her. And then Saturday, we're so excited to be hosting Kylie Reed. We don't usually host authors on the weekend, but we love Kylie and we know that we'll have so many people here and I hope it's you. So Kylie Reed, and she's in conversation with ZZ Packer. So it is gonna be a really fabulous and fun event. And then story time also on Saturday, never miss it. Now standing in for Rayanne, we have the fabulous Kat. Hello everyone, I'm Kat and this is my hedgehog named Ann Patchett. <laughs> I'm here to talk about some picture books since Ray Ann is um, not here today. Ann and I would like to talk to you about Hedgehog and the Log, written and illustrated by Pam Fong. This is a really, really cute book about this adorable little hedgehog who wants to build a house in the woods and he thinks he found the best spot and then he doesn't because a tree falls on it and if he just shifts his perspective, he might see things a little bit differently. And then all of us could use a little bit more mindfulness and appreciation in our lives. And this is Today by Gabby Snyder with illustrations by Stephanie Gregan. It is a beautiful story about, <laughs> oh, and here's a log for the hedgehog to go on. And he's gonna live inside it and be happy. Thank you, Anne. <laughs> in Today, <laughs> we learn about a little boy or a little child who is anticipating a really, really awesome day. Some not great things happen, but he keeps on anticipating the things that are happening. And we learn that appreciating the moments that you have as you're having them is a really great way to be. And that the memories that you make stay with you forever. It's a really, really beautiful story. And there's a great resource in the back to talk more about mindfulness so that you can further reflect on what you've read. It's really cute. Thanks for shopping at Parnassus and happy reading.